know the way to San Jose, heart of the Silicon Valley and home to the San Jose State Spartans, and anticipation has been high all week for this one. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. Inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Okay, so here comes the offense for the first time today. And these guys involve everybody in the passing game, and none more prominent than this big fella. The quarterback knows he's going to be under duress in this game, so who do you look for? The tight end, and there aren't many better than this guy. No, and just big bodies that you can miss a little bit high, and it really doesn't matter. But over the middle of the field, closer throws, so nice to have a security blanket with a great tight end. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Off the play fake. Looking down the middle. It's caught downfield. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. On the run, it's Baxter. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Give to the running back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. Yeah, third and one, you know what time it is. It's about the big boys up front. you got to give me a little bit of space, a little crack. You just can't give up that penetration so my running back can fall forward just like that and get the first down. They're down to the 35 on first and 10. From the gun, to give, looking for room. Tackle is made at the 30-yard line after he picked up four. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pick up a four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Ross. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, an offense you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. was rolling and then it got thrown into reverse. Here's a second and 18. 
He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle, it's Smith. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. On third and long, trying to convert through the air. He's got it! He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. What a great job settling in on the road and threatening to score now here on first and goal. Trying to pound it in. And he barrels into the end zone for a touchdown. touchdown. Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. And they went out and looked so good on that last drive. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So San Jose State's offense will get the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective team. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Now on first and 10 from the 27. It's a draw. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Twin receivers on both sides of the field. It's second and four. Brown wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down to make sure that's an incompletion. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Well, they tried to catch the defense napping. They're third and short on their own side of the 50, and everyone's thinking run. They go pass, but the defense wasn't fooled, so the QBs just got to throw that one away. The Spartans will try to pin them back with the punt. He'll call for the fair catch here. On first down, here comes this offense. He'll start this drive firing. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? That's one thing about this defense. They've got some dudes in the back end that can cover, and they can hang with some of these intended targets. Nice job swatting that one away. Last play didn't go as planned. Now second and ten from the 26. From the gun, the running back has it. Runs ahead and powers his way for four yards out to the 30.
It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Works the middle. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. you got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. To the air on first down. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. And as an offense, you want to stay aggressive. You want to keep calling these downfield shots. I know you didn't complete that one, but you want to send a clear message. You're trying to take the top off this defense. You keep calling downfield shots, soften up the coverage, get those safeties playing deep. That's going to open up your running game later on. The give to the back. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat like quickness. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. The short hands, it's Morris. of time left and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period and here comes the punt team a fairly short distance here toward the sidelines not his best work guys this san jose state offense trying to get this ball moving that last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt they'd like to be more productive this time david and i think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced find a little balance between the run jesse and working in that pass and i think too david it's just going to take a spark it just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going after the run second and medium from the gun they'll try to impose their will didn't get a whole lot of room to run he picked up one or two I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easier. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. You're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Here comes the offense on second down. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. They'll stop him at the 31. Let's mark it off at five yards, and that will be a first down. Now, I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. They've got him spread out on second and seven, two wide out to either side. They're bringing heat. He'll try to do it himself. 
Nice job of avoiding the sack and picking up a few on the run. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Ball's at the 26. It's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. Unloads to the right. He makes a catch. Tackle is made after the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And the Spartans with the first and ten. This time they'll go to the running game. Pulled down after picking up five to the six-yard line. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Might as well stick with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. And sometimes you just need to block that dude, and they didn't. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third down, he drops the throw. Bought a little time, lets it go. Got it in the middle, it's Lockhart. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And I think that completion is as good as a first down, right? Because you've set yourself up now in fourth and inches. Quarterback sneak's going to get it done. You can keep this drive alive. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. Right down the boulevard. It's good. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and try his field goal team out there. And his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they'd get him on the ground at the 20. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Looking to the big tight end. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. I know it's something we take for granted, guys, but the Q did a great job there with the play-action fake. He really took his time and sold it. And that's what throws the linebackers in the second level of the defense to help make that completion a whole lot easier. Wide open downfield. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. Man, I'm a defense. I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. They're down to the 32 yard line on first and 10. He's going to pass. Fires to the wide out. Finds a man in the middle. And he's brought down after a nice game. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Snags it. And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. This offense has become a first down machine. And that is so demoralizing for the defense, especially for those star players that are playing tons of snaps. They're not subbing out as much. By the fourth quarter, they're going to be gassed. They use those back-to-back -back explosives to set them up first and goal. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Trying to bully their way in. Sprints into the end zone for a touchdown. 
Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The San Jose State offense is back on the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Brown will throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. They finally make the stop. That's going to make those halftime stats look a little bit nicer as we head to the break. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in San Jose than you have? A captivating game so far. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys Number at nine. Seth Q Stadium. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Well, you wonder if one of the adjustments they made at halftime trailing in this game was to try and get the ground game established, David, and they're off to a good start here. Dang right. Stay patient. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to press. Just try to get scoring drives together. Don't abandon the run. Right back to the well. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. Brown wants to pass. Got his man quickly. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. The play action fake. He's going to run it. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Trying to find his man on first down. He's got his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there. Still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. 
He saw man coverage, and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let him work, David. See man and, and see the cushion and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Still looking on the move. And he is corralled short of the line to gain. Great job rallying to the football by this defense. Third down, QB's trying to extend the play, but great team speed on defense now setting up fourth. The Spartans will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. First down here for the offense. He wants to throw. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And I think this team knew going into halftime trailing, their defense was going to have to step up here in the second half. And on the very first play of the third quarter, they get a sack. That is good news for this defense. across the four-minute mark here in the third. He's looking for a man on second down. Fires to the tight end. Hard-hitting tackle. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll try to run for it. They'll pick up the first down as he gets it out to the 27-yard line. That is how it's done on third down and short. And no doubt about it, an easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. They'll ride the hot hand. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful in making the honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the run in the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Smith. The defense wouldn't let him lose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Had it right in his hands in the middle of the field, and it trickled to the ground. It will be fourth down. The punt team makes its way onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. State has the ball and ready to go on the attack. Brown will throw it. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. Four wide out set, three of them to the left on second and ten. He's looking to throw. Bought a little time, lets it go. Right through 
through his hands, you just have to make that catch, and it'll be third down. Hopefully that's not going to affect the quarterback's confidence going back to this guy later. That was a catch he should have made. He dropped it. Let's see what the QB does moving forward. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Throws to the tight end. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Well, there's the trust this quarterback has in his guy, right? He knows he's going to give him an opportunity in critical down and distances. Third down, find your best matchup because you know he can make the catch, he can get his feet in bounds and keep the drive moving. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Stewart. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. They're going to run it. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Brown wants to pass. Looking to buy time. And the defense making the sure tackle just short of the first down marker. That's what I love about dime personnel packages, especially on third down, is one, you've got faster guys out there to cover these receivers and these targets, but two, you can rally to the quarterback if he takes off. And yeah, he was able to get a couple yards, but you're not letting him go to the house, and now you're setting up fourth down. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Makes a catch past the sticks. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. That's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Spartans getting set on first and ten. Used to play fake. Now to throw. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. And the Spartans looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. The give on the inside. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall? Brown will throw it. Got his man in the middle. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. Trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. The Spartans will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, San Jose State! That big score makes the end of this game very interesting. No doubt the offense got what they need. More work to do, but you had to get this part accomplished first.
Obvious thinking here. Get the two-point conversion now, and all you'll need is a field goal to tie. They'll try to blast their way in. He stopped short on the two-point conversion attempt. They went right back to the well with the man who scored the touchdown, but he couldn't get it in for the two. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Here's the handoff. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. you got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. They'll go right back to him. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19, give him one. And this is a pressing time for this defense. They, they've got to understand, they're backed up a little bit. They're going to run the football. They don't want to make a mistake. So I think this is the time I'm a little bit more aggressive. i, I got to get this football back to my offense because I'm trailing. So I look for this defense to get a little bit aggressive. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Got a man. It's Moore. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Well, I had a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver in the middle of the field. They bring the punter onto the field now. They'll look to pin him deep. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. Guys, this San Jose State offense trying to get this ball moving. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. But how about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right. And the quarterback is snowed under. Man, how about the offense, man? You run a little play action. I, I can just tell you, third and long as a pass rusher, I'm going to get the quarterback. I don't care about the play action. I'm not biting on it, and neither did the defense. And the Spartans send out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll park it at the 39. The offense likely to lean on the run to milk this clock. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Well, you got to give this offense a ton of credit because normally they've got the lead because of this running back today. It's actually despite him. They really haven't gotten the production out of him that they expect week in, week out. you got to give the defense credit for that. But other guys on offense have been able to step up enough to make the plays necessary to give them the lead. Control the clock as their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Big third down for this defense. Listen, you've got to get the ball back. You know what they're doing. They're trying to run the football, but we need the clock to be on our side so our offense has some time got to make a stand right here on third. There he goes to the right. The 10. Finds the finish line for the touchdown. 
And you know, late in the games, the offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the lead is a dozen here in the fourth. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And a score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The San Jose State offense is back on the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Offense gets set for second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. He's taking a deep shot. Can't make the play on the interception. And man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Fires to the middle. Got it past the marker. And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing. An easy conversion for this offense. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Brown wants to pass. He's going up top here late in the game. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? Yeah, and I think you know the situation as a defender, and you know you're up by a score, and you know exactly what's going on with the offense. They got to make some big plays here in the fourth quarter. Nice job playing the deep ball, staying deep, and not giving up the big play. In second and ten, he'll throw again. Coming after him. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long, coming up. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air. And offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the catch, he's got enough. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. The Spartans have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. Second down coming up. 